<laughs> all right. So um, let's, first of all, let's give us an overview of wh what you are doing now and where you're right. at, and then we'll go back to the sort of the... The beginnings. The beginnings of time. Yeah. You know, right now, I'm a, I'm a partner at a, uh, a global engineering and design firm called Siberia. And so what we do, we're, we're an agency. So we take on really hard problems. We don't knock out websites. Uh, we work with companies like Avis to reinvent the way they uh, rent cars. Working with Intel to build their new wearable platform. Right? These are companies that have real media engineering problems. Uh, and we've got a team that, that can do all of that design centric though right because a lot of the things you have even if you're just building let's say you look at Intel as an example right you're just building a product Intel is a chip company right so the product is for developers right so what developers are used to getting is really shitty looking apps to work off of you know simulators and code tools and things like that well what happens if you actually well first create a great platform but then build beautiful tools that uh, you know that they can work with so we're actually taking that approach Hey, so where were you 20 years ago when I was working at Intel and we were... You were at Intel? <laughs> we were... <laughs> you know, you guys have support group on Thursdays. It's a, it's a whole thing. <laughs> we have a whole program of, uh, I forget what it's called, the ISVs, Independent Software Vendors Program. Yes. And everybody laugh at it because I think we were good at making hardware, but when it comes to the things that run on top, we're horrible at it. Not a software company. But that's no. all right. You know, but that's you know, that's why people like me exist, right? To make it's great. make cool stuff look really good. And speaking of not software company, um, so what you do now is basically it's still on the software side. You basically work with people yeah, well, uh, software hard and difficult. Hardware. Yeah, it's software and hardware, but also what's interesting about it is, you know, we'll, we'll talk about this I guess in a bit. When you actually go through, you know, spending years at a company, right? Every like when we did when we did iPhone, that was five years of thinking about the same fucking thing day in and day out. Web OS, same exact thing. Dashboard, two years. You know, but when you kind of tack that onto all of Mac OS, it was multiple years of just thinking about the same thing. What this allows me to do, uh, which is kind of more where I'm finding my own kind of personal uh, interest, is solving these really hard problems, but in like six month, you know, one year kind of sprints. And then it's done and you get to do the next thing. Or sometimes you've got like three or four of them because you know, now I, I don't have to actually type. This turned to tater tots, by the way, a long time ago. So I don't actually have any capacity to think really hard like I used to. I don't either. But, <laughs> but what you do is, is you get to actually you know, spread yourself across all these different really difficult programs and, and, and make an impact. What used to be, like when you kind of go from engineer, at least in my case, you go from engineer to manager, senior manager, you become a director at some point, now you're responsible. The way that, the way that people are comped as you kind of move up is how much damage you can do to an organization, right? So that's why I'm the CEO. <laughs> you can do a lot of I'm damage. I'm a weapon mass destruction. You, you are, you can actually, and that's actually it, right? I mean, I was CEO of my Thank own you. small company. And we can tube, uh, we can tube a company um, instantly. Um, but as you go up in like these big kind of bigger organizations, HP or Palm, you start to have more control. All of a sudden you have, you know, 10, 20, 50 million dollar signing authority. Well, that's all of a sudden big bad decisions you can start to make. Uh, the idea is that you kind of build your career up yeah. over time and, and make hopefully better decisions, although that's not always <laughs> the case. <laughs> so tell us, <laughs> this, this reminds me of a joke at Intel. When we said it was really difficult to fire people at Intel. Uh. So when people don't perform, we promote them or we move them to another <laughs> department. But anyways, <laughs> side note. You know, actually, you know, I can tell you this. When I was at HP, so I was uh, vice president of, of mobile. Uh, I actually saw, so you get to see across, you know, divisionally, you know, the org charts and things like that. And I actually saw a perfectly vertical reporting chain. <laughs> SVP, VP, senior director, like <laughs> straight down the line, everyone with one report. <laughs> it's it's a full cl career ladder for you to climb. Yes, you know? it is. <laughs> um, so you mentioned hard problems. Can you yep. give us some examples of recent hard problems? Um, Siberia has well, so, so again, Siberia. So solving you know, Intel is like I said, Intel is building this wearable platform. Mm -hmm. a wearable. You know, if you look at this this thing, and I'm not a fan. I've got an Apple. Do you guys anybody have an Apple Watch? Anybody packing any of this? You got one. How, what do you think of it? Uh, yeah, no, no, your company. I'm like, no, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, I think it's, I think it's cool, but I wouldn't, uh, I want it, I don't need it. Fair nice point. to have. Yeah, yeah it's in, and I would say, you know, the original thing that sold me on, on this, part of my job is trying to figure out, you know, where we're going with trends and things like that. Uh, I don't think that we actually have a solid problem that we're solving. This is a solution in search of a problem. Oh yeah, sure. You're right. So, <clears throat> and that's, you know, there is an actual problem. I want to track my data and now I need something to do that. We have Fitbits and all these other things. Um, 
this thing buzzes whenever any random asshole sends me a message on Facebook or text or whatever. Sometimes I want to see them, but I don't have those kinds of controls. So for me, this is totally a, a, a solution in search of a problem. Intel uh, you know, and, and Google are, are, are building a different kind of platform. They're going to companies like Q, uh, Hublot or IWC, Fossil, you know, people that have you know, these, you know, they make jewelry and they're providing a platform for them to, to install technology into the jewelry, which I think is a more, much more interesting you know, kind of solution to a problem. You want to track your health data, step data, whatever kind of data you're looking for. Maybe you've got a clip that says um, your baby, and so is my baby breathing. You know, there's all sorts of other interesting data, but at your core, you're not a technology company. This is a, a product, I believe, built by a technology company. Um, there's not a lot of interesting design that I personally don't resonate with, but you know, again, IWC makes a huge range of watches. I can say, nope, 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 yes. But if they all have that little bit of technology that I wanted, uh, that's a much more you know, compelling argument. So, but that's a hard problem to solve. On this um, technology looking for, a solution looking for a problem, in, in fact, that's uh, one of the fastest way I've seen investors losing money. Absolutely. Right? Just, we, we always get fascinated by strong technologists Yep. mesmerized by the technology, invest, and then yep. suddenly we realize, oh, the market yep. is five years away, yep. so let's keep funding them. So it's kind of a dangerous path yeah. to go down.